RAM is one of the most important specs to pay attention to when shopping for a new computer. But how much does a person actually need? Give me five minutes and I'll give you a crystal clear, foolproof answer. If you're shopping for a new computer and want to talk to an expert like me for free one-on-one -on -one help, you can fill out a request at Retaily.com or call us toll-free using the number below. How much RAM you need depends on how you're planning to use your computer. So let's talk about what classifies someone as a light duty, a medium duty, or a heavy duty user, and how much RAM each of those users need. More RAM doesn't always mean that your computer will be faster. A light duty user will never see much of a difference between 4 gigabytes of RAM and even the heaviest duty user won't see much of a speed boost past 16 gigabytes in today's tech climate. So what makes for a light duty user? If you only use your computer to do simple things like browse the internet, answer emails, and edit documents, there's no reason for you to buy a computer with more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. A rare exception to this would be the person that multitasks and runs several programs at once. Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, a web browser, instant messaging, etc. If that's you, your computer will meet your needs for an extra two to three years longer if you buy a medium duty computer. Less than four gigabytes of RAM for even the lightest duty users probably isn't a very good idea, but paying for more is like renting a timeshare on Antarctica you're probably never going to use it. Moving past light duty to medium duty, if you do graphics work, casual video editing, casual computer gaming, or multitask a lot like I mentioned a few seconds ago, you should shop for a computer with at least eight gigabytes of RAM. Anything less will probably have you pulling out your hair or result in a red hot computer that you can barely touch because it's constantly running at full capacity. Finally, Heavy duty users do professional video editing, 3D modeling, or consider themselves die-hard gamers. If that's you, you'll probably want a computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM. There's no reason to pay for more than 16 gigabytes though. Study after study has shown that there's a deep nosedive in return on investment past 16 gigabytes. Although some heavy duty users could probably get by with 8 gigabytes of RAM, the programs you run as a heavy duty user will get upgraded in the next two to three years and require more resources. Not paying for a little extra now can result in you having to replace your entire computer in a year or two. If you only buy a computer once every seven to ten years, as opposed to every three to five years like most people, you might consider buying one level higher so that your computer isn't frustratingly sluggish two years from now. So light duty users that rarely upgrade might consider medium duty, and medium duty users might consider purchasing a heavy duty model. This is because software is constantly updating and requiring more resources to run, but computer hardware, the actual physical components inside your computer, are difficult and costly to upgrade. If you're going to have this computer for a long time, consider purchasing something one level higher than you need present day. Otherwise, your computer may be sluggish several years before your computer actually goes kaput. Still not sure what you need to be looking for in a computer? Head over to Retaily.com and myself or another expert will give you free one-on-one -on -one advice to help you find your perfect computer. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to our channel, or follow us on social media using the links in this video's description. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, leave them in the comment section below and one of our computer experts will answer it shortly.